Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. You're in for a real treat today. A buddy of mine, I was talking to a buddy of mine on the phone the other day and he mentioned that he had this particular engine and I'm going to keep this a secret for as long as I can. Particular engine and I've been interested in owning one of these particular engines for quite some time but I've never really able, been able to find one. Well he happened to get one new in box and out of the kindness of his heart he sent it to me so I could at least make one video of it. What this particular engine is is a Skyward engine. Now many of you may not have ever heard of this engine before and to be honest with you I've not seen I've never ever seen one in person I do know a slight amount about these engines. This engine is a, is a wolf in sheep's clothing because it's actually, and it says here, it's called an S40 RCS EMR, whatever the hell all that means. Skyward engines are actually Pico engines. So this is actually a kind of, I don't know if it's a detuned Pico or just an unbranded Pico and branded as a Skyward. Um, I don't, that's about all I know about these engines other than they're actually Pico engines. I don't know if they're detuned. I don't know what the manufacturing range was of the years. But I do know from the very little I've been able to find online that they're screamers and they're really awesome engines. That's why I was really excited about this. So opening this box, I've got the instruction sheet, which is uh, some basically just paper stapled together. It says here, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to read a little bit of this. Skyward Research and Development Laboratory, a Kunin Group Company, Montreal, Quebec. And it's got a telephone number, a fax number, and it says this is a Skyward 40 FSR engine starting instructions. So anyway, I was looking, and I have looked inside this box before, so I know a little bit about what this says. And it basically talks about running in, break in, and that type of thing. One of the things I thought was interesting that I saw in here, oh yeah, this is something I've read about, but I've never actually seen it in print. And it's always kind of concerning because, especially knowing that this was actually, and, I, and it's not Skyward Research and Development, this is a Pico engine, so I don't know what's going on with this. This is a Pico engine. But here it says uh, washout. After installation, washout, run in, running in, breaking in. Under washout, it says most engines, when new, may contain particles from the manufacturing process. You are advised to rinse out the motor with fuel through the cylinder and glow head to remove these particles. That is really kind of shocks me because you think of a high quality engine like Pico or Rossi or those types of things, you would not think there would be swarf in these engines and that they would actually put that in print and say, hey, you need to do this. Now, it doesn't say disassemble the engine, but it does say rinse it out with fuel through the cylinder, glow head to remove the... Uh, so, I don't know, that's weird. I just thought, I saw that and I thought, wow, that's really unusual that they would actually put that in writing, but they did. So, let's look inside here and see what we've got. So I'm just going to take all these items out here. So this is the engine. And the way a lot of the Pico engines are, especially now, I don't think Pico makes uh, airplane engines anymore, but they're car engines. In fact, I've got a Pico car engine right here, which is very similar. You got this black, I don't know how they coat this, it's not a black casting, but I don't know what kind of finish they put on there, but it's a, a black finish on their engines. Now I know, I think some of these actually were silver, so maybe this is a time representation, maybe this is a newer one of when they made them, or what, I don't know. This black process would be indicative to me of being an additional manufacturing step, which would lead me to believe that that was a more expensive way to do it meaning maybe these were the older ones and the ones that aren't black or newer but I don't know for sure but anyway this is a Skyward 40 engine and it's black and it comes with this what I'm gonna call like a tuned exhaust because this looks very similar to the Rossi uh, exhaust that I had when I had my Rossi 45 engine which I no longer have and the other real distinctive thing about this is it has this 
a circular exhaust port which I think is pretty cool. So these things kind of tend to tell me that this is just a really screaming engine. Now it is an ABC engine, it doesn't have a glow plug in there and I'm not really feeling a big tight fit there. Um, but anyway, another thing of note with this engine that I thought was really interesting is that this is really kind of an advanced uh, carb on here in that it has, um, let me see what they call this in the instructions, where are those instructions at? It has two throttle uh, levers or whatever. One is for the main throttle body, but then this one is is an in-flight an in-flight control. Let me maybe move that out of the way and you'll be able to see it better. It's an in-flight control so you can kind of, you have two servos hooked up to your carb. One does your main throttle and then this one does some other kind of mixture adjustment. And I saw something in the instructions about this too that I thought was kind of interesting because I've never seen that before. In-flight needle valves. Some engines are equipped with in-flight needle valves. The novice will have no need for this feature and should close the in-flight needle valve completely and tightly. That would be me. I would be the novice. Then adjust the needle valve and then just with the needle valve. For the expert flyer, simply attach a servo to the in-flight arm. But see, after that, they make no other mention in this instruction sheet as to what the hell that actually does. So, in all honesty, I don't know what this does, because there's really no mention of it. It just says, hey, if you don't know what you're doing, close it and leave it closed. And adjust your high speed here. If you do know what you're doing, then attach a, another servo arm here and do whatever the hell that thing does. So I think that's really a unique uh, feature of this engine. Now, the problem with this engine, and it's not really a problem with the engine, it's a problem with me, is that this is actually an engine that I would like to add to my collection. <clears throat> However, I'm not sure that that's going to happen. Because the friend of mine that sent this to me, he just lives a few hours south of me, he did tell me what he paid for this engine and he admitted that he paid probably more than he should have for this engine. Unfortunately, what he paid for this engine is not something that I'm going to be able to pay for a 40 size two-stroke engine regardless of the collector value. I'm just not going to be able to do that. So we're still kind of in the phase where this may be the only video you see of this. I have not been given a green light to do a run on this brand new engine because if he decides he wants to sell this engine, me doing a run on it is only going to reduce the value. So this may be all you get to see of this Skyward 40 engine and quite honestly I think it's really incredible. It's a beautiful engine and it is one that I would like to add to my collection. Uh, I just don't know if we're ever going to make that happen. But anyway, this has been a quick look at a Skyward 40 engine which is really a Pico engine. Thank you for watching.